Okay, everybody, a brand new tutorial on uh, titles in Premiere. I'm going to show you how to do titles within Premiere, and also if you're doing something like Photoshop and you want to do something a little fancier, because um, Premiere has kind of a, a basic uh, titler, uh, which is okay and does a pretty good job, but like I said, if you want to do something fancy, you can do something in Photoshop as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do here to generate any titles here, you're going to go down to this little new item icon right here. I'm going to go down to this little new item icon right here. Click on that, and it'll bring up these options here. And I'm going to tell it to do a new title. Click New Title. And it will bring open this screen here, or this little uh, uh, splash screen here, asking uh, what you want to name your new title. By the way, it will base your title's uh, resolution and frame rate and pixel aspect ratio after the uh, timeline that you're working in. So whatever timeline you're working in, it's going to uh, duplicate those uh, those settings, copy those settings to the title. So I'm just going to name it here, just call it Open Title, whatever you want to call it, and then hit OK. I'll bring open this little window here, and there's your title window. Now a lot of people think that when you create a title here, it's going to put it on your timeline for you. It doesn't. It saves it, uh, this Open Title. It's already saved it right down here into your uh, project window right there. So now that title is down there, but now uh, whatever changes you add to this op this title that's open up here, uh, it will save it to this little file right there. So this is very much like a, kind of a basic word processor. Uh, you have some items in here that you can uh, just create your, your regular type tool here. You can do things on a slant. Um, has some basic tools up here so you can manipulate manip manipulate your text. Uh, you can choose like an area to type your ty text in. This is very much like a basic Photoshop here where you can kind of create some shapes and text. I'm just going to kind of show you just the, the basic text options right now. So I'm going to take my text right here. You can also do vertical text or horizontal text as the standard here. So I'm going to click on my horizontal text. I'm just going to click right in here. Up here on the right It'll have a whole bunch of different attributes for your text here. You can choose things like uh, your font. You can choose size, opacity, uh, position on screen. Some of the stuff you can just manipulate simply over here in the window. So let's go ahead and type in some text. Call this on the beach. I'm going to click my arrow now, my selection tool. And it'll put a little uh, selection around your text. You can move it around on screen. Uh, but now it's pretty easy to manipulate the text from here. Uh, first of all, if you want to change your uh, font, you're just going to simply have this text selected. You can do multiple texts, um, text items on the same screen here that's all saved and preserved in this little file right there. So let's go up and tell this we want to change our, we want to change our font. I'm going to drag this down. One way I like to do is I just like to select this text here. If you just click right on the text, it selects it all, and now you can just arrow up and down, and it will change your text. And you can preview your text and find something that you like. Let's do something fancy because it's on the beach is all kind of nice and um, nice and cursive here, kind of sort of thing going on. Uh, nice fancy text. All right, so now a couple other things we've got here. Uh, as we've got your font size. Let's say we want this a little bit bigger. You're just going to grab that and you can just scroll to the right or to the left and it will change the, your text size. A couple quick things here that you need to know about is uh, what you've got here is you've got your two guides here. You've got what's called your uh, action safe and your title safe in here. Uh, some monitors and some screens will cut off a little bit of a portion of the edges. That's the way TVs are made and it kind of has the border around the edge that kind of eats a little bit into your monitor and it eats a little bit of your monitor space. What This, this is considered what I call, or, or what they call the action uh, safe. If somebody's moving and you want the action to stay within the screen, the visible screen that you're going to see on a lot of televisions, then you got to keep your action within this border. This one is called title safe. This is a recommendation to keep all your titles from being cut off so they don't look weird, so they don't look like they're on the very edge of your screen. Uh, it's a recommendation to keep all your titles within that area. So once again, action safe and title safe. So um, And most broadcast standards, if you send it to a television station, will expect that as well. Um, you also have different styles down here. You can do outlines. Uh, these are a bunch of templates down here. You can select to have different looks of text. It already has uh, pre-created colors and shadows 
and uh, and fill type and a whole bunch of different other things. A lot of these things, like I said, you just have to kind of go in and, and mess with these and experiment with them. I'm going to give kind of the basics here. You have things like sheen that makes kind of a shine on it. Uh, you have an outer stroke, uh, which you can mess with. It has a whole, it's, it's quite powerful, but I'm going to find kind of style down here. And also, if you want to customize these things, you can just do it yourself. Here's the original one that I had right here. Um, I'm going to go up and change my color. I'm going to grab, uh, I'm going to click on the color picker here, and we can choose whatever color we want to for the text. So click on that, or you can actually select a certain color type if you're trying to match something by clicking on that. So you're trying to match the kind of the golden hue here. You can find something kind of bright there. Click right there, and then you've got kind of the matched color. Then I recommend doing some other things like basically adding a drop shadow, especially if it doesn't stand out very much. You can add a drop shadow. Click on that right there. It'll create a drop shadow for you. And then you can manipulate your drop shadow. You can turn the opacity up and down. You can change the angle of the shadow. A whole bunch of different things you can do to the shadow right there. Or once again, if you find some um, style, title style, that you kind of like, that you want to have a starting point, from down here, you can go ahead and just click on these things and find something that you like, and then you can go through and change your font. To something you like. Right there. And then you can go down and change, fine tune those details that you have for these text types down here. Uh, and this one already has a drop shadow here. It has the color that we started off with. So if we want to change that color, we can change that color. I like that color right there. And now we can come over to the side here. This is one thing that I kind of like here is this uh, little self-alignment here. If you want to al align this text in the middle, first of all, let me get this the size that I want. I'm going to grab this. And by the way, if you hold down Shift, it'll constrain the proportions on the side. Uh, if you let go of Shift, it will make it all stretched. In portions here. So I'm going to hold down shift as I'm resizing this. I'm going to center this horizontally. I click right there. If you do that, it'll hurt. and this one will center vertically. Click on that one, but I don't want it up here, so I'm going to grab it. I'm going to move it down, but I'm going to hold down shift as I'm moving and it will constrain it to its, um, its horizontal centering. I'm going to move it down here and put it right about there. I know I'm passing the title safe a little bit, but I don't care. It looks good to me. <clears throat> and there we go. So I've created that text. I'm going to close this now. I'm going to move down to my video here. And I'm going to go down and grab my open title right there. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to drag it up here. I'm going to put it on top of my video. This is going to composite on top of my video. This is basically see-through. If you move over, you'll notice it composites my text right on top of the video. Then this acts just like a video clip now. You can grab the edges. You can drag them like this and trim it so it lasts longer. So if I want this to fade in now, I can move it over, highlight this and do Command D or Control D on a PC and it does a dissolve in, it does a fade in and fade out on the clip. So this acts just like a video clip. Now it will fade in. Let's say right about there I want it to fade out so I'm going to move this over right there and trim it. So now it fades in. And fades out. There you go. Let's say we want one more title to pop up and we like this style, we like what we've done right here. So what I'm going to do is go down to my um, project here and double click on my open title. And I'm going to um, go up to this little tab right here. This is a handy little tab. This creates a new title based on all of the settings that you've already created. So basically just copies this one into a new title. So I'm going to click on this and it will say, what do you want to name your new title? I'm just going to name it uh, Beach 2. Hit OK. And you'll notice it has generated a new title. It's got everything exactly the same here, all the same settings. But let's say we want this to say something else. So this one is going to be left alone. My open title is left alone. So I've generated a new title. I'm going to rename this one here. Beach is happiness. I don't know why. Beach is happiness. Stupid title, but a different title based on the same settings. So I'm going to center this one. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to go up to my, and go to my font size and change my font size. How about there? 
center that. There we go. And by the way, while you're typing text, if you do, if you have it centered here, when I resize it, see right now it's justified to the center instead of justified to the left or right uh, column. Now as I change my font size, it'll stay centered. So get that the size that I want. Close that. And grab my second beach title. Drag it in. Make it just a little bit longer. Select it. And Command-D, make dissolves on both sides. I did Shift-Plus there to kind of bring up the size of the columns. Now as it plays to the first clip, goes into the next. Beach is happiness. Isn't that sweet? Okay, let's say we want to do something a little bit more fancy, and we want to do it uh, in Photoshop. So you're familiar with Photoshop, and you want to make some fancy graphics here. Uh, for this, I'm just going to do kind of a basic one. I'm going to go under my Presets and choose Film and Video and tell this to do a preset uh, HDTV 1080p because I'm working on 1080 timeline. If you're doing larger, you can do larger than that. And there's ways to do vector images and everything else like an illustrator and uh, have, have it uh, be a vector image that doesn't change the resolution if you have to zoom up on it. But right now we're just doing basic uh, compositing with these basic uh, 1080 images. So I'm going to select this, hit OK. Uh, I grab this little palm tree I have, drop it in. So I want this to be part of my title here. All right. Now I'm going to create some text here. And I'm going to select in here. And I'm going to make this text actually similar color to what we had before, kind of that beachy color. So if you're familiar with Photoshop, you're going to be able to do and you're going to be able to do some fancy titles and some fancy graphics. Uh, I'm just going to show you just kind of the basics here of how to get that imported. So if we want to do something kind of fancy in here with the text, we go to blending options and say we want to do like bevel and emboss or something and really kind of make this stand out and do do some other items that you can do in Photoshop to make your text look really cool. Within Photoshop, I'm going to basically leave the uh, drop shadow off because I'm going to kind of create that in Premiere and see how it looks composited against the video. So I'm going to make uh, my background here an alpha channel so we have just the text and just the palm tree here. I'm going to save this as a Photoshop file and call this Beach Title. This is the nice thing about uh, Premiere, doing titles in Premiere, is that you can do things in Photoshop and they come in and work fairly seamlessly. Now I'm going to import my beach title here. It's my Photoshop file. And I'm going to do just kind of the basics here. I'm going to merge all the layers. You can do individual layers and animate individual layers, but we're not getting into that right now. I'm just showing how to bring in a basic title. I'm going to hit OK. There's my Photoshop file. And if you have an alpha channel created in, the, in Photoshop where it doesn't have like all solids, you can bring this in. Drop it in just like a video clip, just like you can the titles. And you scroll it and you trim this out. And there you go. You got the exact same title that you created in Photoshop that has an alpha channel. If you don't like the placement of this, you can actually select it. Uh, come up here on a, on a hard portion of the object, double click on it, and you can grab this and move it down. Another way to do that, a little basic way to do that is select. Go up to your effects controls. Select this little wireframe right there for the object, and it creates a wireframe for the object, and now you can just actually just grab it and move it down. I'm going to hold down, and you can move this around. You can resize it if you want to. You probably don't want to make it much larger because the resolution will decrease. This is not a vector image that it's generating here. Uh, but also, let's say we want a, uh, a drop shadow here. You can actually just select the clip, go down to my Effects tab, and there's a drop shadow effect in here. You can just type, type in drop, and there it is, drop shadow. I'm going to add that to this file. And now you, you can already see a little bit of a drop shadow there, but if you want to increase the opacity on it, make it a little harder, uh, distance, how far away it is, you can see that working on the tree right there especially. You can see your drop shadow right there. Um, actually, oh, sorry, I didn't increase my distance. There's my distance right there. Send it a little further out, and I'm going to soften it. Let's make it a little more subtle. And there we go. So let's turn it on and off and see what it looks like. There's before, there's with the drop shadow right there. So there you go. So you can uh, bring Photoshop files in. You can do some titles inside of uh, Premiere if you wish. If you're familiar with Photoshop, that's good because you can make some pretty fancy titles, bring them in and work with them as if they're video clips. And same with the titles that you can actually generate in Premiere. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post them, and I'll see if I can get back with you. So thank you.